Hey guys, it's Paul from Ash Phoenix. New comic book day for the week of January 31st, and we're going to get started right now. Alright guys, Tim from Capes and Scales in the comic book store, and I'm going to tell you what is coming out trade-wise, but first, the previews are here! We've got the hunt for Wolverine on the Marvel side. Who cares where he is, is what I say, kids, but I'm a curmudgeon. And then we've got the big previews with everything ever in here that isn't Marvel. And let's just show you, Deathstroke vs. Batman is on the cover, and then you flip it, and Sonic is coming back on IDW. Uh, maybe it'll be good? I like the Archie run, so who knows, but there's a lot of cool things. Robocop? What? Robocop? Robocop? By Brian Wood? I'm down for that. Brian Wood's awesome. Anyways, you can order things ahead of time and make sure you get what you want. Let's talk about the trades. We got Redline from Oni Press. I started reading Redline. I did not finish it. It was pretty cool. We've got Clandestino. I don't know what the hell this is about, but I'll tell you the artwork is pretty sweet. We got Violent Love. I read a little bit of this as well. This is a really good story. You should check that out. We got Briggsland Volume 2. Briggsland, a lot of people are digging that. It'll be a show. Uh, of course, everything will be a show. I'll be a show. This is technically a show. We got Wayward. Everybody loves Wayward because Jim subs the man. It's awesome. It is awesome. We got Venom, Lethal, Protector, something or other. Blood in the Water. This is Volume 3. I haven't been reading Venom. We got Kill the Minotaur. Some people really dig this. It's from Image. We have DC Superhero Girls. An original graphic novel, so... If Date with Disaster. Looks like Jim Gordon's going on a date. We have Richard Stark's Parker, and it is Volume 4, Slayground. All of these are awesome. I own all of them. They're fantastic. Read them. They're great. Darwin Cook. We got Shade the Changing Girl. It's one of those young animal books, and I'm really tentative to read these after Doom Patrol I just didn't care for, but Cave Carson I enjoyed, so I don't know. Maybe I'll read this. Eventually, we got Inhumans versus X Men. I don't really care about either of those factions. And then, yeah, whatever. And then we've got Is This Guy For Real? The Unbelievable Andy Kaufman by Box Brown, who is awesome. This book is awesome. Everybody buy this. Andy Kaufman, fantastic. First up, we have quite possibly the dumbest book I've ever read in my life. And that's saying something because I hate Harley. <laughs> so. To have this book be worse than Harley is tough. We have Justice League of America, Doom Patrol, Milk Wars number one. Let me try to explain this to you. There's a company called Retcon, and what they do is, yes, they retcon places. But they do so by having the inhabitants drink milk, being forced upon them by a carbon copy of Superman named Milkman Man. Are you still here? If you are, I don't know why. But the Doom Patrol has to break the Justice League of America away from a Pleasantville-esque place where all of them had drank the milk. I guess basically like drinking the Kool-Aid, but it's milk and they always refer to everything. It's, it's literally 30 pages of just milk puns and it drove me absolutely nuts and then suddenly Cave Carson is there and I don't get it I, I don't understand I mean from what I've heard Doom Patrol has always been an off-kilter book but this just seems dumb um, especially with having to deal and having to constantly read people refer to this man as Milkman Man don't get this book all right, so my first book is Motherlands by Vertigo. This is a unique story. It's a number one where everybody thought, you know, aliens are going to come. This is going to come. No, what we ended up finding was there wasn't anything out there. There was, however, alternate realities of the same dimensions. So there's a different you on a different Earth, all of that. And people, of course invented ways to do crime differently through the different dimensions. So, this is about characters hunting down those people in between the dimensions. It has a very Judge Dredd feel, but it's still pretty original. Uh, your main character here, she is a 
pretty awful hunter, bounty hunter basically we'll call them. But her mother used to be one of the first ones and she had a reality TV show and cameras that would follow her around. And basically they're going to go after somebody who's really tough to catch, one of the top 10 criminals, and she wants her mother's help with her old school tech. It's okay. It's weird. It's really weird. I don't know, man. This is weird. All right, next up we have Avengers, issue 678, No Surrender, number four. This book, this has been... Thanks, Tim. Welcome. This book has been amazing, um, and that's not just because it's by Mark Wade, Zub, and uh, Ewing. Uh, it's fantastic. So we are getting more and more. The Avengers are now starting to find out the rules to the game, um, while the... Uh, Legion and the uh, Cabal fight each other over things. People, it's everything's just going bad. Um, it's going from bad to worse, and it looks like we're now starting to end up with, or may end up with, uh, our first Avengers casualties. And I guess that's Marvel's way of uh, whittling down some of the series, just by killing off people. Uh, will they stay dead? Probably not, because it's Marvel, but I mean, they might stay dead for a while. <laughs> you don't know. The book has been awesome. Uh, the art has been fantastic. Um, do yourselves a favor and pick up the, this. Uh, it's been a good series so far. There are 12 issues left of it, and I'm interested to see where this is going to end and how this is going to uh, set up the Marvel Universe going forward. All right, it's time to make half the audience mad, question mark, because we have Acker and Blacker. They're a good team. Everybody likes them. It's catchy names. But we've got Star Wars, the DJ, whatever the hell his name is, one shot. I don't care if you don't like Star Wars Last Jedi. I enjoyed it, and I don't care what you think, and I don't care if you like it or you don't. But let me tell you something. This makes Benicio Del Toro's character way more enjoyable, way better. This is essentially the origin of how we got in the jail cell in the movie, because that's clearly what you see here. This is leading up to that point. How he got there, who he is, why we should care. You want to know why you should care? You need to read this. It's done really well. Uh, and, you know, I the casino scenes is probably everybody's least favorite part of that movie, but let me tell you, it's very interesting in here, so check it out. If you want a little more backstory, or if you actually enjoyed The Last Jedi, read this. You'll love it. All right, and my pick of the week is Dark Knight's Metal. Metal! Issue number five. Uh, this book has been spectacular, and um, we are now one issue away from the end of this book, and it shows no sign of giving the heroes any sort of break. Um, it seems like half the book is the heroes coming up with some... Uh, some very well thought out plan and in the last two pages being completely robbed of any type of hope um, and they've they found they come to find out that uh, everything has been wrong this whole time they, they know they were coming they know everything was going on that seems to be the uh, the way each issue has been going and this is no different um, it is fantastic they are they're finally in uh, close enough to get the nth metal to basically turn the tide of war and um, they fail. They fail badly and uh, this is going to set up an interesting uh, last issue and I can't wait for it. Uh, if you're not reading metal you should be. Uh, most of your comics have had a lot of um, second and third printings and stuff like that. It shouldn't be too hard to find this series. Um, and it's not, you don't have to read everything to it. You can pick up just the metal series. Um, I would highly suggest picking up some of the tie-ins, um, specifically uh, the different types of Jokers, or different types of Batman. Uh, my favorites are the uh, Batman Who Laughs, because, wow, that's a messed up one, and uh, the Drowned and uh, Devastator. Those have been great. This The series has been awesome. I don't know how they're going to fix it, how things are going to go, or... Um, because it seems like this is not going to get retconned away in a, in Doomsday Clock. So I'm really s curious to see how this one ends. But uh, you should be picking it up. 
All right, and it's pick of the week time. Why am I yelling? We've got Silencer from DC. I picked a book I knew nothing about, and guess what? I really enjoyed it. Uh, this book is about this character of the Silencer. I don't know if she exists elsewhere in the DC universe. It says it's a metal tie-in. I don't know. But she has some cool interactions with Talia al Ghul, and she has a pretty cool ability where she shushes and an area around her becomes devoid of sound. She literally gets into a fight with her, her son is in her car, in the backseat of her car in a child seat. She gets into a fight outside of the car and the kid has no idea that this violence is happening outside the car. It's a unique ability and I could see where it's valuable. Uh, she's a very violent character who has some past with Talia al Ghul and she tried to leave that past behind. Uh, she had Talia's blessing to leave it behind, but her old life is coming back now. Now that she's created a family and she thought she was completely out. It's a very fun book. It's a very cool book. You should check it out. Silencer! Alright, so that's it. The video's done. Why are you still here? Is it because you want to see something over here? I don't even know if there's anything over here. Maybe it's here. Nobody puts shit here. Hey, it could be there. You know what? Why don't you just click on another video? You like videos, you're on YouTube, you're going to go down the rabbit hole, you're going to be here all day. Why don't you just click on one of our videos? This one. This one is about Justina, and she's going to be rowing a boat in that video. I promise. Scout's honor. I was never a scout.